All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from K Hux Nation, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the newest scout unit, Hilbert and Oshawott. Now, I know I am a little bit slightly late on talking about this unit. Uh, again, it just happens sometimes because of the nature of my job. Um, so I don't always have time. So at the very least, though, we're going over it now. I'm giving my thoughts about it. I actually pulled Hilbert and Oshawott uh, already. I got lucky. <laughs> I got on my first pull along with uh, Blue and Pidgeot. And in, within the same polls, that was pretty cool. Uh, but I'm just gonna quickly go over this. He's honestly a pretty decent unit. So without further ado, in case you, you're wondering as well, uh, real quick, this is what his sync pair animation looks like. So it's currently on the screen over there. Oh crap! <laughs> just realized it's cut off. Well, okay, I guess it doesn't work. Anyways. All right, so this is uh, Hilbert and Oshawott. Now, Oshawott is a support role type Pokemon. And these are his stats. His most notable stat is that he has a 197 attack stat, whereas his special attack is only 130, which is okay considering the fact that all of his actual attack moves are physical moves, so his special attack kind of doesn't. All right, uh, including his sync pair, that's so also physical. Now, in terms of the moves he has, he has Aqua Tail, which has a power of 67, accuracy of 90, only hits one person, uh, consumes two gauges, has no additional effects, has Waterfall, has a power of 54, 100% accuracy, uh, one, only hits one person, and has a small chance of making the target flinch and consumes two gauges. Uh, has X speed all, so it raises the speed of all allied pairs, which is actually pretty huge. His speed in this game affects how quickly your gauges refill. So if you give all of your Pokemon increased speed, that's a dramatic increase in how quickly you're getting your gauges. So that that's actually a pretty big pretty big deal. Um, he has in this together, which affects all your allies. The lower the user's HP is, the more this sync move raises the attack of all allied sync pairs. So, the way I like to think about it is that this is kind of similar to how Trico's, uh, Trico's move is, where for Trico, it's the more gauges consumed, the more of an increase in attack and special attack you'll receive up to six tier. Okay, um, the cap is six, by the way. Plus six. Plus and minus six are the caps. So I'm assuming that this works in a similar fashion where uh, once his HP reaches a certain threshold, like in terms of how low it is, uh, it'll increase the dramatic a lot as well. Hopefully six years. I haven't used them yet, but I'm assuming it works in a similar fashion. And his sync of us, uh, yeah, yeah, his sync pair thingy, I forgot what it's called. Sync move, whatever. Has no additional effect, but has a power of 240. Is a physical type, only hits one opponent. Now, aside from the X speed all, which I find absolutely huge, because again, there aren't too many Pokemon in the game that actually have uh, like trainer moves that affect all Pokemon, like all your allies and stuff. Um, and even then, there's only a handful that are actually necessary within a battle. X Speed All is definitely one of those like huge ones that will heavily affect your team. Um, he has the passive skill Impervious, which stats cannot be lowered. This is actually a really good ability. Like this is honestly one of the better abilities amongst all the Pokemon I've seen so far, just because of the fact that a lot of enemy Pokemon, especially in the higher difficulties, uh, when they use their sync moves, they tend to have a lot of debuffs for your team and buffs for the enemy team. So being able to have in the passive ability like impervious that just kind of makes it mute, that's kind of huge. That's really that's really good. Um, you don't have to worry about debuffs at all whatsoever and you can just you can pretty much only have to uh, worry about buffing up Ashawa and that would be it. So definitely a really good ability. So overall, what I would have to say is that uh, 
For being a support role type Pokemon, his attack is honestly pretty decent. And this is not considering when it evolves in a later update. Okay, I'm assuming they'll, they'll let him evolve sooner or later. Okay, all the little baby Pokemon, I'm assuming they'll let him evolve uh, later on. Um, but for a roughly 200 attack for a support type, that's actually pretty decent. Trico has, I think, nearly double that in attack and special attack. Um, and he's a, he's an actual uh, fight type. So that's actually not too bad. The X speed all is probably the also one of the main things that kind of like kind of solidifies Oshawott for me. Just because of the fact that means that you'll be friendly engagers so much faster. Uh, it means that even in the case that maybe you don't have your superior in order to refill all your gauges for you, or you don't have a Salamence to also do that too, uh, you can at least use X Speed All to help make it more consistent so you'll get your gauges faster. So, altogether, it, he's a pretty solid Pokemon. I don't know how reliable in this together would be, to be honest. Uh, that's more like one of those situational moves, but all, all in all, he, he, yeah, it's a he, okay? <laughs> All in all, he's a pretty, he's a pretty decent, he's a, I would say he's above average. He's an above average support player. He's kind of like, he's kind of like, even though he's a support role type, he kind of feels like a hybrid of support and fight. Okay. He's a little bit DPS, but also a little bit support. Okay. He's kind of like right there in between. Um, so altogether, I would say he's a pretty good Pokemon. I don't think he's worth chasing for just yet okay there's still quite a few other pokemon i would think are worth chasing for instead such as trico trico is an absolute powerhouse uh but it is a fairly decent pokemon but other than that that was it for today guys i just want to quickly go over oshawa and my thoughts about him uh, so far yeah <laughs> you enjoyed the video oh actually first uh Go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and opinions are about Oshawa and Hilbert in the comment section down below. Uh, especially if you think or whatever types of teams you might have put together using him too. I'm kind of curious about that. But if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from KHUX Nation. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.